Welcome to Unreal Gems. In this video, we will see how we can upload our own character to Mixamo and then auto rig it. Lastly, we will try an idle animation from Mixamo so we can see in Unreal Engine if everything went okay. So go ahead and roll intro. Okay, so we are in mixamo.com and we are going to auto rig our character that we have processed in the latest video. Okay, so first of all, you can see that we have the character on the right and we are going to upload our own character. So we just have to go ahead and drag and drop the FBX that we created in the last video. Now it will upload it to Mixamo and it will start in the processing of the character. We just have to wait and when it is done it will show us the character in our tip pose and we can go ahead and see if everything is looking right, if everything is correct. We can switch it it should be in T-Pose, it should be humanoid, and we can go ahead and rotate it, switch it, and see that everything is correct. And once it's correct, we can go ahead and click Next. Now we are in the auto rigging process, and we just have to tell Mixamo where the chin is, the wrists are, the elbows, the knees, and the groin. Again, for that we just place markers. We have to be careful and make sure that our character uses symmetry and if not, deactivate the check. So just remember tip pose and symmetrical. We can go ahead and select where the chin is. We will see how the symmetry works later. We can choose also the wrists. There, more or less and the elbows, more or less there. Now we can go ahead and place the knees. Okay, so that's more or less perfect. And the groin, there. Okay, so now we are done because our character is symmetrical. It's a humanoid character. But remember, if your character does not have, for example, fingers, you should choose the appropriate skeleton LOD. So we have a standard skeleton with five fingers and hands. We have three chain fingers, two chain fingers, and no fingers at all. So just depending on how you have modeled your character, remember to choose the proper option. Now you can see that if you uncheck symmetry, you can move independently all the markers. So if the character is not centered, for example, or if it's not symmetrical, with that you can go ahead and place the markers where they need to be, even when characters are not the standard. Remember that you can only auto-rig humanoid characters. If you have, for example, a dog, Mixamo will not help. Okay, so now we just have to wait. Okay, and when Mixamo is done, it will place our character with an example animation. We can see the skeleton. Everything looks uh, fine. So now you can rotate and see if everything is looking good. If you see clipping, for now you don't have to worry. We'll see later how to fix it. But you can see that more or less everything is looking good. And so we are going to click on, on Next and we are going to give some animations to our new character. Okay, so once you click next, it's going to appear in the animation grid. And we have there our character in typos. Now we just have to go ahead and look for the desired animations. I want an idle animation, so I can look for idle. You can see that uh, the mannequin that has red is the feminine mannequin, and the one that is bluish is the masculine. So feminine animations, red, and masculine animations, blue. I'm going to go ahead and since my character is a girl, 
You can go ahead and look for the girl idol. You see that the arms are clipping, but we can fix that with the character arm space. As you can see, now everything is looking good. She's looking amazing. And you can see that the clipping is more or less gone. And I don't want her to look like a brute. So I'm not going to give her more arm space. You can see the skeleton view here, as you saw again. And as you can see, we can rotate and see our animation however we want. Now we can click download. Format we are going to keep as is, FBX, which is what we want. Skin, with the first animation, we can download the skin because inside the skin is the skeleton and the looks of the character. So you are going to choose with the skin. If, for example, we would look for a walk animation instead of an idle, so my second animation, we can download it without the skin and it will just have the skeleton and the animation and will uh, be less, um, it will have less size. Okay, next we have the frames per second. You can see that we can choose between 30, 60, so on and so forth. And last but not least, we can choose the keyframe reduction. Usually I don't. And we can download the animation and that's that. So, now we can look for a walk animation so you can see another uh, thing, another interesting thing. So if we choose walking, you can see that the character is moving with the walk. So you can see that there is an in place option, which for game engines, it's usually the way to go if you are not using root motion, which is uh, not a lot performant and needs some things uh, in engine to work so you are going to check in place and the movement is going to be gone from the animation so the character is going to be animated but it is not going to move which is what we want because we will script the motion in engine so you can see that as soon as i uncheck the in place the character starts moving so just remember if you want a walk animation just check in place and you will be good to go. As you can see, now there is no movement and in engine you will have less trouble. You can see that you can trim the animations if you don't want from 0 to 100, like in this case, the character arm space again. You see that we have a stride and overdrive to make the animation more or less exaggerated. I urge you to check all of these sliders out and fiddle with them so you can see better what they do. You can customize your animations without uh, much problems. Okay, so again in Unreal Engine, the only thing we need to do is drag our idle FBX file and now we will import it in Unreal Engine. For that, you just need to make sure that skeletal mesh is checked. So the skeleton is imported, import mesh. Next, important, import animations needs to be checked. If not, the animations will not be imported, which is what we wanted anyways. So remember to check that. Again, uh, create materials and local. Look for the textures inside the FBX. That will make sure the textures are imported. And with that, we can click import all. And the character will be imported and we can go ahead and start working with it in Unreal Engine. So if you want to check how your character is looking, you can go ahead and go down to the skeletal mesh and open it up. You can see the animations there, so everything looks like it went okay. But let's go ahead and check how our character is looking and open up the skeletal mesh editor. So we can see Citrine right here and you can see that everything looks okay. The shading is clearly not final. We are missing the hair and so on and so forth, but do not worry about that. Right now we are worrying about uh, our rig and about animation. So you can see that everything is looking fine for now, and you can go ahead and minimize it or preview the animation using a specific animation and choosing the idle animation. You can see the animation here if you want to check that everything is working okay. And another way is minimizing and then just drag and drop the idle animation 
in our level. We can go ahead and click F to center ourselves in the character. And we can now choose the simulate option so that we can see the animation playing. Everything is looking fine. Citrine is animated with an idle pose and it looks amazing. So you can see that the process was uh, really quick and really easy and painless. Well, so that has been it for this video. As you can see, Mixamo can save us a lot of time animating and rigging our custom characters. This was a straightforward and simple process. Go ahead and try out your own characters in Mixamo and then in Unreal Engine and see how they look. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and we'll see each other in the next videos.